Hey, popping like I'm post to watch out for the people that ain't close to. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Nia. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel today. Today I wanted to do for you a little bit of a room tour to show you guys exactly like how I like to keep my space. One thing I realized about myself and being a creative is that in order for me to be able to create, I need to have a clean and open space, right? So what I have recently done is invested in some dressers from Ikea, a couple of drawers so that I can store my um, notebooks and other things that I would need for class. My room can not be as cluttered and you'll be surprised actually guys like you'll be really surprised by like how um much just buying some dressers and some drawers basically just how much buying storage could actually tidy up your room so again my room from being what my room went from being super difficult for me to work in because I had no dressers and drawers to being like my my personal little safe haven and I like just try to keep my room as clean as possible if my room is messy one thing you guys want to know is if my room is messy then you know I'm having a really discombobulated and a little bit jumbled week so I like to really try to keep my room very my corn muffins are ready I had to get my muffins out the oven you already know how that goes <laughs> but let me stop so basically um yeah, so I want to guys, I want you guys to see like my space, how I like to keep my room, how I like to keep my bathroom. I'm a very I can't say I'm super duper neat, but I try to be a very neat person. I have my days again, don't get me wrong, I'm a human being. I have my days where things can get very cluttered and messy, but overall I am my best version of myself when my room is decluttered and when my room is clean. With that being said, I want to go ahead and show you guys how my room looks and how I just how I put everything together. Okay, so we're gonna kinda do a little, a little bit of a vlog type of situation here. Um, I'll go ahead and just show you guys my bathroom first. Excuse the lighting, it's about to switch up. Yeah. So, let me see the bathroom. This is the way my bathroom looks currently. I have another mirror here. There's a closet right there. I'm not even gonna open that because you guys really don't need to see what's in there. Down here is Kiki's litter box area. It's an electric litter box, so as you can see that black wire comes up here. And it usually plugs in here, but right now I'm using it for my ring light, so it's not plugged in right now. But that is where Kiki goes, does her business. This is the way my room looks right now. It's night, if you couldn't tell. I mean, I did tell you in the beginning of the video that it was night, but I'm sure you can tell. By looking at my window, there's pitch blackness work area, my workspace. I usually do a lot of architecture projects on this desk. Um, yeah, I got my candles here. I really like, I will actually, I love aroma. <laughs> Gotta have a good smelling area, like I need my room clean. So I have a lot of candles, a lot of wax warm, warmers. I usually burn my incense in this candle holder here. This is one of my full body mirrors. I absolutely love it. Love that thing there, got it for 60 bucks at Ross some nice curtains i will want to go ahead and say one thing guys adding curtains to your room adds a different dimension okay it really adds a different a new dimension to your room it's my bed and i'm just being oh, this is a real video guys i did not do any thorough cleaning <laughs> i was not gonna do that it's 11 at night and i think i wanted to show you guys exactly how i truly live oil burners i love burning oils i get all my oils from earthbound um, it's like a really cool store. It has a bunch of knickknacks and like cool little thing. I also got this from Earthbound. I burned my incense on it. But I love, this my little oil station. Likes to burn like a nice little patchouli. Love patchouli. I should have got more than one. I don't know what I was thinking. I have my Bible open here. Um, I am Christian. I'm very spiritual. And I feel like having an open Bible is a really nice way to keep your space clear of any negative energies, any bad energies. So right now I have it open to Proverbs. I want to really get into Proverbs. So <sighs> I'm holding it here because I have not yet gotten to it. Here's my little mini book, um, <laughs> my little mini library. Um, I have a couple books that interest me, like nine, successful, nine things successful people do. I'm almost, I'm almost done with this one. The Four Agreements. I'm pretty much finished with that one. 
This one is called Dread. I have not started this one. I got it from my dad's little library. You can see it's like really old. <laughs> But I really, really want to read that one. I want to see like what I can get from that one. I'll um, put these down like this as I go through. This one is called 1200 Dreams Interpreted. Um, I'm a very spiritual person. So like, I feel like everything that happens to somebody means something. So I take my dreams very seriously. And I'll get into that on another video. This is Birthing a Slave. I actually had to read this book um, for my African diaspora minor. And you will be surprised about the shit. The black woman has got has has gone through quite frankly it's actually disgusting this is something i stole from my mom the pur a purpose driven life don't know what that's about don't really know what it's gonna be about but i'm excited to find out this is one of my favorite books that kind of woke me like made me a woke a work a woke young girl like i basically wrote an essay about this um what senior year in college no senior year in high school and this book blew my mind and it's basically everything your american history textbook got wrong this is a world literature book i'm not even gonna go over that that's just something i had to get for class that's something i had to get for class and lastly this is my <laughs> encyclopedia of fruits vegetables and herbs as you all may know i make soaps so um i like to have one of those books handy on me i kind of want more books on that kind of those, those kind of <laughs> i want more books on that topic because um that doesn't really have every single plant and vegetable and herb in there, but you know, I'll make do with what I have. I use Google, it was pretty cool. This is just my little nightstand area. Yep, Kiki's like really hyper. I don't know why she's like that, but here's a bottle of wine. Me and my um, cousin had a virtual wine night. And this is Kiki's key, tree tower. Yep, she loves that old thing there and can never have enough mirrors. So there's another mirror. But that's pretty much my room, guys. So as you guys can see, like my room isn't like any super duper like showroom kind of room. Like you can obviously tell someone lives in it. Um, for me, my room right now is just in a really good um, state. Um, I actually want to go lay down and really pour a glass of wine, eat a corn muffin, and watch The Office until I fall asleep. But <laughs> I'm probably gonna edit this video before I go to bed tonight. But yeah, I just want to show you guys where my room, what my room is like and how I like to live in it and, you know, what it looks like and how I'm living, girl. And if I don't end up editing this video by tomorrow, I will record a video for you guys to see what my room looks like in the daytime. But until then, thank you guys for watching my YouTube video and I will catch you later. I'll catch you later. But yeah, so I hope you like my room.